many, many, many of you remember the Prince Edward Sprints Challenge. Well, it made a spectacular return on Wednesday with 16 of the top schools from across the country taking part in this prestigious school's track meet at Prince Edward High School in Harare. Tinashe Mukono compiled this report. The Sprint Challenge rode back to life with a stacked lineup featuring athletes in the under-13, under-15, under-17 and under-20 age groups. The traditional inter-school season opener was a best of colour in festivities after a long absence forced by COVID in 2020. Prince Edward School Director of Sport Tawanda Jimu underlined the importance of the event on the school sports calendar. It is very, very important. Number one, it gives the guys confidence. Number two, it gives them much of um, experience. Uh, it would be lovely if we've got our international teams coming through. Uh, we are running on grass. If we've got a Tatan track, putting on a Tatan track, it would be massive for us to have that um, going on for, for the athletes to have that um, exposure in terms of uh, them going forth and, and meet other athletes beyond uh, just the borders of Harare and, and Zimbabwe. Many of the athletes gave their best showing on the track, with Chisipiti blitzing the track in the girls' category, while the boys' division was a tightly contested affair with Prince Edward, St. George's and Peterhouse often in the mix. Uh, the race was kind of tough and uh, I was a little bit slow in the cave, but I had to recover in the in the stretch to be the number one. And, uh, according to my goals for this year, I'm, uh, I want to be the Zim one this year and uh, in the future I wish to be one of the Olympians. To be honest, um, I don't think I was going to do as well, um, but I'm very proud and it was a good race, good competition and good race. A number of the country's top athletes such as Ngoni Makusha and Tinotenda Matienga have emerged from the school circuit and Jim is hopeful a new crop also breaks from the sprint challenge. The best that we are setting everyone must be commended. So this goes to the national federations now to come through and commend what we are doing. It also goes to the colleges and, and, and universities also to come through and, and, and channel. We've only got six, six years with these boys. The athletic season is in full swing in the country with provincial championships coming soon for the juniors, while senior athletes are currently gearing up for the 2023 World Athletics Championships qualifying races. Reporting for ZTN Prime, I'm Tenashe Mkono.